Hey guys, it's Smashwall here, back with more Neon Xing. I know I haven't updated in some time, but there's been quite a few changes to the game. First off would be the... Well, actually, that I added another track. I haven't changed the picture yet. Uh, okay. And so, let's start this... First thing is that I did a um, jump start so that when the arrow flash yellow, all I have to do is press and hold the up arrow key. There we go, it turns green. If I don't, then it'll turn red. As you can see, I flew past a few racers. The higher the acceleration, the greater the, the boost is. Um, as you can see, I also greatly improved the textures on track. Um, this is the new fire. I also have ice added. So, what ice says is it basically stops a person from moving, it slows them down. There are a few new items, such as shields and reflectors and stuff. Um, there are a few more sparks that bounce around or might create a line. And Oh, here's one that creates a line. <laughs> Basically, what this is, it sends out these four sparks. The four sparks will create lines between each other. And... Basically, anyone who touches those lines will get hurt. Now, another cool thing that I added here was that I actually added drifting. So drifting, as you can see, the ship doesn't quite follow the, um, the direction it's going in, which that's intentional. But, I actually want to slow down here so that I can get a few more new items and not really looking to win. There's ice. As you saw that- Oh, I've already got away from that. As you saw that it gradually goes down. Um, what that guy has right there is a armor. It basically harms you whatever part is inside the bubble. That right there is a shield. It will basically destroy destroy anything. Um, one new thing is that I also added a little repair lines and stuff for when you're repairing. So basically new mines, such as an ice mine. Um, there's also a new type of laser that it, no, oh, dang it. That it, um, starts it fires in one direction, and then it splits off at 45 degrees into two more lasers, and each time it keeps on splitting off, and it gets stronger every time. However, it is a bit hard to hit with the split off, so that's the trade-off. I also added a rock rocket, which is just like a rock mine, where it basically just slows down someone, or actually it stops someone upon impact, and they have to regain all their speed. I don't think it's actually better than the ice rock or anything ice afflicting because ice can pretty much make someone just ram right into the wall. Like I said, I'm not looking to win. Um, I guess I'll show off how these lines see how they're damaging my ship. You also notice that my ship um, gets darker every time. That's a new thing that I added. And this guy is stuck because it freeze. And the reason why I went ahead and I stopped for 12th place wasn't because to try and show off any of the new items, which I don't really think there is anything too much new to show off aside from maybe I'll get an ice rocket, but I really want to show off is something new that I've also added aside from all the drifting and everything, which I will get to that once I finish. 
Oh, right here is a reflector. It literally reflects attacks is what it does. So if you have a laser coming down at you, the laser will be reflected back, so it can really prove harmful to someone. I'm not sure if I have this shown off this yet. But basically, it's just a purple rocket. Purple rockets by themselves are very... They're not very strong at all, which is why first place can get them and stuff. However, firing off 20 purple rockets can actually be a bit devastating to a ship. So that's what that item does. Of course, gotta repair all. Uh, so that's pretty much everything. So let's speed on to the finish. Don't think there are any more items I really want to show off. Now, you'll see that... Oh, wow, that, those are terrible times. <laughs> you'll see that each ship now has a time. If the ship does not finish, then the time is simply recorded as 0-0. Zero, zero, because they haven't finished. If you finish before them or whatever. Um, so that's the next new thing. Much improved text. Uh, aside from those new additions and how you saw the texture improved. Uh, I don't think that there's anything else aside from the fact that there's another locked ship although you can't really tell but uh i don't think i really unless i added in the this text and stuff i haven't really changed too much with the shop as you can see I think I added in the text from the last time, but, oh, uh, well, that's uh, pretty much everything. Uh, I changed the music in for Radzar, um, and that's an mp3 file, so I should be able to upload it. Hopefully, I'll be able to upload it into there. Um, as far as the tiles go... I think the first lap might run a bit slower than the later laps because it's literally putting the tiles on spot. But, I mean, aside from that, um, I don't think the tiles really completely slow down the game as much as just having the objects. Now, of course, the tiles aren't complete, and so currently they will slow down a bit more than the objects because... I'm creating about an extra few tile sets than what there were objects because the tile sets aren't completed. In fact, I've only gotten a quarter of the tiles of what I want done. I'm not sure if I'm going to have that completely done. I guess it'll just happen over time. A quarter of the tiles done for Radzar. Um, as far as Galtar goes, I'm almost done with a quarter of just the regular uh, brick tiles that I'm putting in place for this. Of course, they'll be different for cave. Um, of course, this Radzar is already done, as the tiles are the same in between planets, so that's nice. I haven't really quite figured out what I'm going to do for the leaf tracks yet. Um, I'm thinking Sainad will probably have wood as its tile. Uh, Rockspot will probably have desert. I haven't really done anything on that. Um, Aquare is actually going to be a rather interesting tile set. It's going to be a mixture between dirt and metal between tiles, so that should be nice. Um, Molesfim, I'm thinking that I'm going to go with asphalt. Um, anything else I'm planning on adding? I am planning on adding a, um, an actual amount of talking here. I can probably talk on for long enough for, ooh, gotta find the keys. Okay. For another race or so. But, um, yeah, some of the music will be changed around. I am going to change around some of the music. Um, 
the computer players in later tracks can and will, in fact I've already implemented it into a few tracks, can and will also, holy crap I better get away from that, they will also use, um, drifting. And so if you can't drift or your turning is not really good, you're not going to be getting very far at all. So, yeah, then there's the track music, I already talked about that. Um, right now, I am not focusing on adding more tracks, I'm focusing more on, um, just doing the tiles. I'm still going to be improving the ships a bit. I don't really like the shading as it is now, so I will be improving the shading on the ships a bit. Another thing I plan on adding is shadows for the ships. Um, as far as the walls go, I don't really know what I'm going to do about the walls. Um, they might just stay as is, I don't really have a plan for them. probably noticed that the item bubble has been done differently this time around than previously before. So I believe that is everything I wanted to talk about. As far as it all goes. Uh, oh, that's right. Another thing that I did add was for Molesfin, lap 3 has a um, shortcut that the other laps do not have. So essentially, I have now brought in lamp-based shortcuts. So, yes, the computers can take those shortcuts, and basically, they're generally obvious, more obvious shortcuts. So basically, if the computer players haven't um, really done anything yet, hell am I talking about? If the computer players can take those shortcuts as well, which I've already tested that and went through on that. So yes, if you don't know, or if you're not taking the shortcuts, it can definitely take a much longer time. Of course, with shortcuts, the way I implemented it was that I can also have, uh, I guess it's something that the, supposedly something that the new Mario Kart 7 has, as I've looked at some videos for it. Um, this actually came in before Mario Kart 7 was released or anything, but with the way my lap... If you're wondering why any of these signs are showing up, it's not at all how they placed in time. It's... I haven't fixed the glitch yet where the times get reset back to zero after each race. Um, in Mario Kart 7, apparently there's a... Um, where it's like a gigantic just track thing and there's no real circular loop tracks as some of the tracks in Mario Kart 7 are. Like Rainbow Road, as I've looked at a video for that. Um, the way I've set up lap bay shortcuts was that I can literally have tracks set up like that in this game. Where they will not necessarily be um just like one really just long sort of straight track that only loops around once but of course this game uses different depths and so if I change the depths on between last one two and three and I can have them each take their own path, which is actually what I was planning to do in a way later track way down the road. So anyways, that's your Neon Xene update. Um, it's pretty much everything that I've added in. <clears throat> everything new. So understandably, this does take quite some time, as Neon Xene, of course, isn't just the only thing I'm working on, I'm also working on RPG, but that's not as prevalent as this game as of yet. 
So, also my next LP, um, I want to record another video and stuff, and my next LP will probably be released sometime next week, or it'll be starting sometime next week. Just know that that will take a bit longer because I am doing a bit more with just showing off, um, not showing off, but I mean a bit more on explaining such as damage that each enemy does and just have uh, little boxes that show up for that kind of stuff. So that's all, that's why it's going to take longer. Um, but this has been Smash Ball, another Neonexing video. Remember to subscribe, like video, Smash Ball, and oh, right before we go, if you want to, that graphics failure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know the graphics for this version really haven't been improved as of yet, as you can see. Um, as for this, you can go ahead, do the link, and uh, download the game. Um, if you're running on a Mac, I don't think it's possible because the game is in an EXE format or an executable. But, uh, yep, you just click the download game. It'll take you to the next page where you download it. And it'll save it to a file on your computer. It's a, um, it's actually a zip file because there's a DLL that I'm using so that the lag isn't noticed. So, of course, you have to unzip the zip file and extract everything out of it. But, yes, to run the game, it is an executable, so you do have to be able to run an executable. I know there is something for Max that does do the executable. I'm not... I haven't done too much research on it, so I wouldn't know too much. Of course, if you're concerned about the file size, it's not big. Come on, three megs? Really? You have to have a pretty bad computer if you can't. Or you must have a lot of memory taken off. You can't do three mags. But, anyways, that's for the game. Purple Mario Kart and Star Wars. Yes, this game, you'll definitely see that it's comparable to Mario Kart and Star Wars. Oh, I haven't done this test yet, but I'm going to test it out on Mario Kart. Where I'm going to wait 30 seconds and probably one of the longest tracks for Mario Kart Wii and see how well of a placing I can get in 50, 100, and 150 CC. Because in this game, the best I can kind of do is like anywhere between 5th and 8th if I wait 30 seconds before beginning the race, which I'm showing that it's definitely skill paced. This game isn't luck of the item so much as it is how well you can control the ship. So it's definitely not something where you... There's also a thing is, if you're at the finish line for the third lap, you're not going to go from first to tenth. No, the time frame between those two are too different that if you get blown up, I mean, you'll do fifth place or something. You're not going to... It's not that height of a race how everything just hits you straight on in Mario Kart. So, um, that being said, uh, this is Smash Ball. I'm not sure when I'm going to get another video up, of course. I'm going to wait until much longer once I've done all the tiles. I'll probably have redone the ships by then. I'll have added shadows and everything. Um, actually, I believe that yeah, the next review is definitely that. Um, pretty much everyone who plays this game actually likes this game. No, I did not get any ideas from LEGO Racer Shoot. I've never played the game. I don't know about the game at all until it was mentioned. So, with that, 
Um, there's nothing else to talk about. One last thing I'll add is, of course, I'll add shadows to the ships. But aside from that, probably be a few more tracks by the time I come in next time. Next time will probably be a C1 as I'm getting closer to completion. Everything that you saw is pretty much how the game is going to be physics-wise. How the game is going to play out and everything. So I won't have to worry about that anymore. I'm not going to worry about adding any more items. That's not going to happen anymore. I'm set. I'm through with that. Oh, the one thing that I will be adding is actually I'm going to finally add a help file that's better than the tutorial. Not, but I mean like a help menu and stuff. Um, I know this video has gone on long enough, so...